A new push to strengthen the state's hands-free driving law. It was the focus of a state house hearing today. Five Investigates Mike Bodette has followed this issue for years and is here now to tell us what advocates are hoping to accomplish. Mike. Erica, a deadly crash in Western Mass last year has prompted one lawmaker to try and close what she calls a loophole in the hands-free driving law. These drivers are breaking the state's hands-free law, which went into effect in February 2020. It prohibits drivers from holding their phones behind the wheel or watching any video. But the Massachusetts law does not ban drivers from vlogging, recording or broadcasting video of themselves while driving, even if they're not holding their phones. No one should be engaged with a camera in any capacity while they're driving. For Joan Ringrose Sellers, um, it's personal. Charlie Braun was hit and killed while riding his bike in Northampton in October by a distracted driver. Ringrose Sellers testified before the Joint Committee on Transportation in support of Charlie's Law. We had just celebrated our third anniversary and he had just moved in with me and in an instant our life together was over. This distracted while driving report found the number of people recording videos while driving more than doubled between 2015 and 2020 and that younger drivers are more likely to engage in this behavior. Mass Bikes Galen Mook says the change is a smart update to the existing law. Since 2019, we have seen technological developments in how video broadcasting has now become widespread through both handheld and dash mounted devices. The bill's sponsor, State Senator Joe Comerford, says there are exceptions for emergency situations, including recording police activity. Phones could also still be used to record traffic or monitor passengers. The law isn't explicit yet about recording videos while not actively handling a device while driving. I suggest that Charlie's law has the potential to close that gap. Other states have already taken this extra step to crack down on distracted driving. No one at the hearing testified against the bill. It's now up to the committee to decide whether Charlie's law moves forward. Mike Bodette, Five Investigates.